what is objectivity? How do we arrive at journalistic truth? And what is the purpose of journalistic inquiry? To answer these, we must first know what is objectivity? What's the idea behind it? Where did it come from? It came to journalism at a moment like this one. Democracy was in doubt. World War I had ended and the world was in crisis. Monarchical empires were falling. It was unclear what would replace them. Marxism was rising around the world, fascism emerging, and propaganda and a new information control were emerging as a new science. Thoughtful people believed journalism needed to be better for democracy to survive. One crystallizing influence was a test of news, a major study of the New York Times coverage of the Russian Revolution, produced by Walter Lippmann and Charles Mers, a 45-page special insert in the Atlantic magazine. Lippmann and Mers found unconscious bias and default culture among the many sins the New York Times that distorted coverage. In other words, my objectivity migrated from social science out of a growing recognition that journalists themselves could never be personally objective, and thus they had to begin to embrace methods of reporting and presentation that, were, that could be, and that could be replicable. And these methods needed to include what today we would call transparency. That meaning of objectivity as method has been deeply confused and often conflated with neutrality for a lot of reasons. There's a deep-seated anti-intellectualism in journalism, the apprenticeship model in journalism education, failure to teach methods as we do in other social sciences like anthropology, ethnography, quantitative methods, a relativistic and postmodernist academic disputes about objectivity in other fields, and a deep, virulent fear of theory by journalists, any kinds of theories. But objectivity as method lives, often not well articulated, in the best work in most newsrooms, in the personal methods of the best journalists that we know, in the long-form journalism that we see in magazines, explanatory work, investigative, interpretive, even in the best opinion journalism. We all know the, few, the, view, the phrase, the view from nowhere. Fewer of us know that it comes from a 1986 book by a philosopher named Thomas Nagel at NYU. The book is one of the most eloquent philosophical defenses of objectivity ever written. Nagel said he wanted to both defend the possibility of, of objective dissent and understand its limits. For Nagel, objectivity was not viewlessness or neutrality. It was method. To acquire, he writes, a more objective understanding of some aspect of the life or the world, we must step back from our initial view of it and form a new conception which includes that view along with others so that our initial view is placed in relation to the world. In other words, the objective method does not deny the subjective. In fact, indeed, it starts with it, our initial view in Nagel's view, in words, understand and be conscious of it. And then we should expand our view by trying to understand others through open-minded inquiry. That's how we can acquire what Nagel calls an expanded consciousness that takes in the world more fully. What Nagel means is that to get closer to the truth, we need to widen our perspective and recognize that what first looks like this, which was reported as a bombing, uh, of the capital might look like this, and ultimately could be this. These pictures were all taken at relatively the same time of the same fire. What's a better term for objectivity as method? Some have suggested more clarity. I worry that that is unclear and invites misinterpretation. The Proud Boys think they have moral clarity, so do Nazis. The more you actually understand something, the more complex it becomes, the more accurate, but also sometimes the less certain or clear. What are other terms for uh, uh, objectivity as method? Here are some I've heard. Moral curiosity, rounded inquiry, passionate, independent, open-minded inquiry, fully dimensional reporting, a skeptical way of knowing, comprehensive reporting. The professional discipline we believe in, this passion to learn and inform, distinguishes us from propagandists and political advocates whose primary aim is to persuade. My worry is that if we journalists replace a flawed understanding of objectivity as neutrality or viewlessness or both sideism and take refuge instead in subjectivity and think that our opinions have more integrity than genuine, genuine inquiry, journalism will be lost. Each generation creates its own journalism. And thanks to a new generation, I believe we will have a clearer sense of the evils of default culture and unconscious bias in journalism. We will become more accurate. I believe Trump has already made us better. But that will come only from accurately understanding our history and our purpose, not misreporting it.